Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. If you are new or if this is your first time at my channel, welcome. My name is Brenda, this is Oliver, and we are so happy to have you here. If you are returning, I want to give you all a shout out and a great big thank you. My channel right now is just growing really fast and it's all because of you and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Today I am participating in a collaboration called the Power Up Collaboration and it is a collaboration to encourage women to start using power tools. So I did. I actually used an electric miter saw as well as my husband's drill and impact wrench. I think that's what you call it. It's an electric screwdriver in my mind, but whatever. <laughs> so with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, DIY number one. So I started off with um, six of these arrows that I got from the Dollar Tree. I do add more as I go on because I realized I didn't think about the bottom part of what I'm making here. So first I started off with my little handheld miter saw. And let me tell you, this was a pain in the butt because of that arrow part. So after I got done cutting this, I suggested to my husband that we go to uh, the local store and buy the mini miter saw that I've seen other creators use. Well, instead he surprised me and took me to buy a regular electric miter saw. So here we are. He's showing me how to use it. And I am going to show you my very first cut using this. And it was so much fun. Let me tell you guys. Yes, it's kind of scary at first, but I think I am now t Tim the Toolman Taylor <laughs> because I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much easier. This is so much better than that little handheld saw. So um, if you have never used one or have the ability don't be afraid to try it out because i love it now i keep looking for things that i need to go cut <laughs> so then i took uh, two of these little squares that i actually found at the dollar tree recently and i'm cutting them down a little bit too because um, they were a little too tall to be the ends of my crate that i'm gonna make so um the arrows uh, are going to be the front and the back and then those little squares I'm going to be the ends. So once I had everything cut down I just took my Waverly Antique Wax and a brush and I brushed it on and then I wiped it off with my baby wipe and that's what they look like when they are done. So then I'm just going to take my wood glue and I am putting some wood glue on it on the middle part and then a little bit of hot glue on the ends and then I'm going to just attach all of those pieces together doing that. Um, what, then while I was doing that I realized wait a minute before I can put this together I need something for the bottom. So I took a uh, six of the five gallon stir sticks and I cut them down to the sizes that I needed but before I attach them I did the same thing with my antique wax I'm showing you here I just brush it on with my brush and then uh, once it's all on uh, the front and the sides I will use a baby wipe to brush it all off and I love the color that this antique wax uh, puts on everything okay so after that, I took the three of those longer sticks and I'm doing the same thing. I'm using the wood glue and the hot glue and I'm attaching um, all three of them together side by side. And then after that, I do the same thing with the smaller sticks. I attach the three together side by side. And then after that, I will take both sets of threes and I will attach them um, at the ends and that's just to make the base or the bottom part of our crate that we're making. I hope all of that makes sense. <laughs> I now I kind of got this idea from uh, Hobby Lobby. I saw that they have something like this and I wanted to make one for my table for a centerpiece. 
So there you'll see me putting it together. Hey, make sure you're following me on Facebook and Instagram. Love to be able to get to know you a little bit better over there. Okay, so after that was all done, here you're gonna see I'm going to put it all together. If you are new here, I just wanna say welcome. My name is Brenda and I am really happy to have you here. If you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, gift ideas, thrift flips, and an occasional haul, please hit that subscribe button and become part of our family. I'd love to have you join. After that, I took some of the um, ends of those paint sticks that I cut off and I am just um, putting them on the seam there, uh, one on, each end kind of to help reinforce that one seam but also to give it a little bit of a lift uh, when I lay it down on my table so it's kind of acting as a support as well as feet I guess you could say and then after that I took my wood glue and my hot glue and I'm going to do the same thing I'm putting it all along the sides and then I'm going to attach the front and the back to the side there of the bottom piece and then I attach the this top and the bottom I guess you could say the little pieces on each end as well so the end pieces so I just using the hot glue and the wood glue and then I used my painters tape to just kind of hold everything together and I kept that in place for like 24 hours then while that was um, after I was done with that and that was sitting there holding I took some of my apple barrel black paint that I just got from folk art I, or plaid I should say I am now a plaid ambassador yay I'm so excited to get my little box in the mail so I'm taking that and I'm just taking this uh, wood uh, thankful sign I think I got this at Dollar Tree but I'm not positive it might have been Hobby Lobby but anyways I am just using my hot glue once it was all dry and I am going to put it right there in the middle of the sign or the crate then I took these um, candlesticks that I got from Dollar Tree and I placed one in these candles I got off of Amazon I will put a link in my description box if you'd like to get them they are set on timers so once you uh, set them for like four hours they'll turn off and then they'll come back on at the same time you first turned them on then I just went through and I just started adding some lamb's ear, some eucalyptus fall leaves, some regular leaves, um, some pumpkins, just kind of a little assortment of foliage all around. And I love the way it looks. You guys, I, I've done a few projects with the lamb's ear and those um, eucalyptus leaves and I absolutely love them. And I love the way this looks. It's kind of simple but yet yeah, elegant and pretty. So today's collab is called the Power Up Collab. It is hosted by Sarah with Can Sarah DIY It and Tammy at the Second Times of Charm. Make sure you check out their um, channels and uh, as well as the playlist with these other two ladies that we have joining as well. Okay, so this is the DIY number two. I only have two for you guys today because I've got a lot of videos coming up. So I started off with these little eight by one and a half um, pieces of wood that I found actually at the Dollar Tree, which I could probably get cheaper at, at like Home Depot or something, but I this was before I got that saw. <laughs> and then I had, I think 12 of those um, five gallon stir sticks so I put six on top and six on bottom so I'm taking one of those um, sticks from the Dollar Tree and I'm just hot gluing it towards the top there this is going to be the back side and then I lay the other six of the uh, paint stir sticks at the bottom and I'm attaching them with another one of those sticks from the Dollar Tree and then I put another one of those as support at the bottom part of that long sign that I'm making then I took my husband's drill and I am making some pilot holes in the sticks that I got from Dollar Tree. Now I know they're not sticks. I guess I should say wood pieces. That probably sounds better. <laughs> and I did two on each um, wood piece and there was three wood pieces. And then I'm taking his impact wrench, I guess you call it, or electric drill as I call it. And I am screwing in screws 
to support those. So even though I have hot glue on there, I'm gonna have this outside and it's still pretty hot out, so I wanted to make sure there was plenty of support with the screws. Then I painted it with my Waverly um, paint in the color ink, which is black. And then I sprayed it with a protective spray afterwards. And then once it was all dry, I took this welcome sign that I printed from my Cricut and I am just laying it on the top there. And then I'm taking these letters. I got the letters from Walmart and then that leaf I got at the Dollar Tree and I am just placing them where I want them and I'm going to use E, or not E6000, I'm using Fix All Glue from um, Dollar Tree and then a little bit of hot glue just to get it to stick right away but I didn't like I said, it's going to be outside and it's still in the 90s over here. So I wanted to make sure that it has regular glue that's not going to melt with the in the heat. <laughs> hey, if you would like to support my channel, a couple of ways you can do that is number one, uh, watch the ads, like and comment, subscribe, share this video. And if you'd like to send me some money to help with my crafting addiction, the link will be in my description box as well. Actually, it's called Linktree and you can click on that and you can see all the links to um, that I have in there, including the links to my Facebook and Instagram. So I took this ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I am just weaving it in the top part there. And then I just tuck that little piece in. I glue the end together, um, just kind of so that it doesn't unravel. And then I just tuck it in and glue it to the other piece of fabric that was there. And then I take the other end and I just wrap it around that um, the top of that stir stick and I paint, uh, glue it in the back. Then I make a bow with that and I just do the awareness ribbon and I scrunch it up in the middle and I use a twist tie to connect it. You see, I, I fumble around when I do that a little bit. So. <laughs> So there you see, I scrunch it up in the middle and you want to, when you scrunch it, you just kind of want to make sure that you're doing it in a way that looks nice. You just kind of more pinch the ends together. And then after that, I am going to glue that on to the corner, top right corner of my welcome fall sign. But don't forget to dovetail your bows if you like that. Of course, you don't have to do it if you don't like it. <laughs> Just make it your own. So after that, I'm taking my fix-all glue here and some hot glue and I will attach that. Again, guys, these are just inspiration for you. You always make it your own, you know. Make it, if you don't like my colors, make your own colors, you know. It's just all about giving you some inspiration on, of what you can do. After I have this glued on, I am going to take a little leaf, wood leaf that I got um, from Hobby Lobby. It comes in a pack of, I don't know, like maybe 20 or something. There's different kinds of leaves. I just love this pack. And I'm just going to put it right in the middle of that bow. And since I used hot glue, no, I did use a little bit of the um, fix all glue on that as well. And then I just started adding some leaves here and there. Now, I kind of wish I would have put a little less leaves my husband thought it needed more and I added more and then afterwards I was like oh I can I in my mind I saw less but I still think it's really pretty it's really cute you'll have to let me know in the comment box if you would have added more leaves or less leaves I don't know so I will show you another video here or, or picture of the first project here are the two projects see it's not that hard to use some kind of power tools and so get creative and see what you can do with them so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be back on Wednesday with another one and we'll see you then. Have a great week. Bye-bye.